Hello, just want to do a quick video and show how Panorama can work with Pro Tools. You'll need to download the SysX file from Nectar's website and install it. You can use any SysX um, application to dump it into the Panorama P1, P4, or P6. But once you get that done, within Pro Tools, you can go to Setup, Peripherals, MIDI Controllers, and you'll want to select M Audio Keyboard. And then from there, receive from Panorama. Set to Panorama. So then once that's set up, now essentially we've got something very similar to kind of Mackie controller, Huey control. Uh, so you don't get the typical in-depth uh, integration that you know you typically see with panoramas and things like you know Reason, Cubase, Logic, but you get like I said, pretty much what you get with Huey and Mackie Control. So I can select individual tracks, I can control volume on individual tracks, I can uh, control panning left or right. If I've got more than eight tracks, as I do in this session, um, I'll actually use the patch left or right button. So now that I've banked over, now I've got control over the other eight tracks, or I can go back over there as well too. So um, aside from that, it's also can function as a MIDI controller, so um, which means you can MIDI control or MIDI learn, I should say, any of the knobs. So let's say in one of these instruments, uh, I can right-click, learn MIDI CC, and then have it assigned basically to any one of these controllers. Do that one as well. Get that one as you forget. Learn. There we go. And we can go through and have that set too. So pretty cool to be able to have the ability to map out the encoders to your virtual instruments. Um, but really the kind of icing on the cake is the ability to have any of the buttons double as keyboard shortcuts. So right now, if I were to hit over here and let's say select audio track number two, I actually have a couple of shortcuts set up to go through and solo and mute that individual track. Um, or I'll show you how to do this. I can go, let's say I want this button to switch between the mix and edit windows. So I'm going to go into Control Edit here on the board, click on the button that I want to edit, and then um, hit this button. So that'll bring up my macro editor. So then from here, I can just say New, and we'll call this Mix slash Edit. We want to learn the command, which is Command plus or equals. Hit Done, hit OK, and it'll say Mix slash Edit here on the screen itself. So now once I come back, and click on Pro Tools, now I can use that button to switch back and forth between both windows. So it's actually pretty awesome because now you can have any shortcut within Pro Tools or set of shortcuts assigned to a single button on Panorama. So that's about it. You have volume control, panning control, you can select tracks, you can bank over, banks of eight. Uh, it can also be used as a MIDI controller as far as the, the rotary encoders go for your virtual instruments. And of course, having the keyboard shortcuts is a pretty huge thing. So that'll cover it. Talk to you later.